Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Governor Bhagat Singh Koshiyari on Wednesday visited Bindara District Hospital where 10 infants lost their lives in a fire that broke out at the sick newborn care unit and took review of the overall situation here. An official release said, while instructing that precautionary measures should be taken immediately to prevent such incidents in future, the families of each deceased child will be given assistance of Rs. 2 lakh each, Governor Bhagat Singh Koshiyari said after inspecting the general hospital here today. Koshiyari also interacted with the mother of the victims and inquired about their condition. He instructed the medical authorities to take proper care of the mothers and children. A tragic incident had taken place late night on January 9 when 10 babies died after fire broke out at Neonatal Care Unit of the four-story general hospital in Mandara, about 60 km from now. Maharashtra State Electricity Distribution Company Limited Kamti has requested for a power outage of 33 kW NMC and 11 kW Kamti color feeder line from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Friday, January 15. Following this outage, pumping and other operations from Kunan Water Treatment Plant will also remain closed and suspended during the concerned duration of time on Friday. Following this four-hour power shutdown and subsequent Kunan WTP pumping shutdown, water supply in almost 28 ECRs from four zones of Nagpur Municipal Corporation like Satanji, Pura, Lakar, Ganj, Asinagar and Nirnugar zone that are dependent on Kunan WTP will remain affected and therefore citizens are advised to take steps in this regard. Furthermore, as 28 ECRs will remain empty, water supply by means of water tankers will also not be possible during and after shutdown in affected areas. Taking cognizance of the high number of casualties and fatalities among birds came into contact with Nylon Manja that is used for flying kites. The group of city-based youth has opened a bird headline number. As the district administration seems to be unsuccessful in curbing the rampant sale of nylon and glass-coated manja in the city, citizens are coming forward to spread awareness in this regard. Several birds have been found injured owing to the banned nylon manja used for flying kites. If you find any birds injured due to nylon manja, then to contact on the given numbers. Bird helpline, Dr. Mayur Kate, Dr. Bilal Ali, Sandesh Singalkar, Swaraj Foundation and other individuals and organizations are undertaking the noble initiative. The vigilant officials of Nagpur Cyber Police helped two citizens who fell prey to online draws in recovering their hand-earned money collectively of Rs. 27.82 lakhs. Some miscreants reportedly duped a man Kapoor based Vasumita Mishra and Kalarna based Vinod Himani of Rs. 1.32 lakhs and Rs. 26.50 lakhs respectively. Following the incident, they have approached Napo Cyber Police to act swiftly on the complaint. Senior Cyber Official Ashok Bagul passed his team into action. Constable Kunal Hatewar and Constable Ajay Pawar wrote to nodal officers in both the cases and helped the victims to secure their amount. To express their regards after recovering the money, both Mishra and Himani approached Nagpur Cyber Police and thanked them with a floral bouquet. Every year, the festival of kites, Makar Sankranthe, brings with it a tragic trail of blood, soaked in innocent life, thanks to the killer Nairan Maja, which stay afloat with the party of administration. The unabated sale of nylon manja continues to leave a dangerous freight across the road, more often turning all joy into heavy gloom for those who lose their dear ones. Yet another life has fallen prey to the nylon manja that were being rampantly used in Nagpur despite ban. A 20-year-old Pranay Thakre, Narishwar Nagar Maniwada, secured severe neck injuries after his throat got slit leaving him profusely bleeding on Wednesday evening. Chakri was riding on his motorcycle when his neck got entangled in nylon manja. According to details, Chakri was commuting through the Maniwara road when the manja suddenly fell on him and made deep cut on his neck, leading to his death. Mahmuda Shikshan and Mahila Grami Vikas Bahuddesha Sansa Associated Central India Group of Institution Donara Nagpur has organized a blood donation camp on 12th January 2021 at its premises at Lonara in collaboration with Lifeline Blood Bank. The blood donation camp was inaugurated by Sri Atul Koteja, Secretary Maharashtra Congress Committee, Mr. Nishan Gandhi, Mr. Santosh Deshpande, Founder Director of BDA Pharma Parashmini Nagpur and Mrs. Preeti Mani Pande, ITC Limited Nagpur. In his inaugural speech, Sri Koteja emphasized the need for more and more requirement of such camps in the backdrop of vast population of the country who are below poverty line and express satisfaction that this society is humbly working towards the 
social call Sri Nishant Gandhi said that students by Nishant Gandhi said that students by inculcating positive attitude in their life can improve their personality as well as health and development of the nation. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnagar says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and everybody. Keep watching NBC News. Sachdikai Vinachupai.